Is there any Good evening, boxing have? fans. This is Sean with BoxingAssociates.com. Today we're here with Mr. Boxing Today, Eric, Joe, yeah. Calix, and also Carcina. How y'all doing, fellas? It's good, man. Good, man. Yo, explosive, explosive <laughs> second round KO. Looks second like Montiel round. was a little bit stiff. I don't know if he was stiff because he's afraid to get hit. But uh, I was really shocked that he came in at 134 pounds. After the weigh-in, a little, little bit sluggish probably, but uh, the Nair did his thing. And tell me what you think. We'll start with Mr. Boxing today, Eric, Calix, and then with Carcino. What did you think about the second-round knockout? Did you think it would come that fast? We watched the video, and you knew the left hook was going to do it. But did you think it happened that fast, and what's next for the Nair? Um, I didn't think it happened that fast. I actually predicted an eighth-round knockout for the Nair. Uh, but, man, when you walk in with your hands down, I don't give a damn how good your chin is. When you walk in with your hands down, you're asking to be knocked out, especially against a fighter that fights the way that uh, Donaire fights. He keeps his guard tight. He's seen the right hand coming. He caught it kind of with his glove, and then he hit him with the counter left hook, and he knocked his ass out. Uh, and the thing with Donaire is he can lead with the left hook or he can counter off of it. So that's why, like in my YouTube video, if you go and watch it, I say he's going to catch him with a left hook because he can throw the left hook. He can uh, counter with it or leave it. And that's what he did, man. And he knocked my, uh, my seal out. Um, Donay, I think he should go up to Featherweight. I think he should just jump right up to Featherweight right now, man. And he can fight any of those guys. Gamboa, Juan. Uh, okay. I think he can go up to Featherweight and fight him. And I really do. Man, I think he's a, he's big enough. I think he drains himself down to get to Bantamweight, in my opinion. Um He's an awesome fighter, man. He's a good fight, pound for pound, one of the best fighters. Well, after the weigh-in, Mr. Boston said he, uh, he weighed in at 118, and after he rehydrated and everything, he only came in at yeah. 126. So what do you think his walk-around weight is? Uh, his walk-around weight is probably around probably 120. One, well, I wouldn't say 120, probably 130. Because if he only gained, what, what was that? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Eight pounds, I mean, that's really not a lot. Uh, and how many did Montiel gain on 16? Yep. So, uh, I mean, I still think he can make a higher weight class. I mean, he has the bigger frame. He's just probably one of those guys, man, that just stay in good shape. But with weight training and properly getting his body built up, uh, I think he can make feather weight. I don't really think this means anything. He just stays in good shape. Okay. All right, what about you, Eric, Mr. D. Styles? Did you expect it to be a quick knockout like that? And where does he go out from here? That quick, no. Um, I expected a little more of a tougher fight for Donaire, uh, especially in the first two, three rounds. Um, unfortunately, man, like, you know what I mean? It's just like that. And it was over. You know what I'm saying? But it, <laughs> what's funny is that I think Montiel was in the first round anticipating the left hook. And Donaire kind of just let him get a little more loose, a little more confident. And once he got a little confident, it just, wow, you know what I mean? That just that's the way he came in. And it was nothing this guy could have done about it. I mean, it looked like he had a seizure while he was trying to get up and shit. I mean, he had a seizure. He's doing a running man. Seriously. He's doing a running man. That's what they call an aferrao. Like a stubborn son of a bitch that just won't take no for an answer. He was going to get up no matter what. I mean, he yeah. was a normal human being should not get up from that punch. But he got up somehow. He should be praised just for getting up. I don't think the ref should have continued it. But, man, he took a punch, dude. Yeah. That was one hell of a punch. And if that was somebody else but Montiel, that guy probably goes to the hospital. And that's like knockout of the year. I mean, okay. but Montiel took it. I think he looked a little sad, like, damn, I can't believe I got caught. But you know what? First punch, Nonito Donner landed, I knew that fight was over. It sounded too loud, affected Montiel too much, and Montiel just had a look like, damn. <laughs> like, what the hell have I gotten myself into? He just, he couldn't <laughs> believe that. You know what I mean? So, and that was that, man. So... All right, Calix. Before you, Calix. Calix, did you expect it to be such a quick knockout? And if you were the ref, Calix, would you like him to continue? I picked it. I picked the six round knockout. I thought Montiel would have his moments in the fight, and Donaire would eventually put him to sleep. 
But no, look, that referee, he got up at nine and the referee told him to walk forward. And he, he would not walk forward. He couldn't walk forward. So you stopped the fight, man. The guy was out on his feet. And when he was down, it looked like he was dreaming about uh, climbing stairs or something like that. I mean, he was just having a seizure or something. And, I mean, when you see that, like when you saw Pacquiao knock out, knock out Hatton, the guy, did, the referee didn't even count. I mean, and, and when the guy is doing that, I think you just stop the count. But when he gets up at nine and you tell him to, to, to walk forward and he can't walk forward, I, I, I think you stop the fight. And you saw when, when Donaire came forward and hit him with two shots, he immediately stopped the fight. I mean, he didn't have to take those two shots, but Donaire's just a special fighter, man. He, he, he's a great fighter. I think he's top five pound for pound. I've been saying that about him for a while, but he finally put it together tonight. He's been doing that experiment. Me and D-Style were talking about that uh, a couple days ago where he, he goes southpaw. He switches from southpaw to conventional. He's been experimenting the past couple fights. And tonight, he, did, he didn't go southpaw at all. He, did, he, he meant business tonight. He was going to make a statement. Montiel was just, just another guy in the ring tonight. I mean, and the reason he was stiff is because, I mean, he, he saw the speed. He felt the power, and it was just Donaire's night. And Donaire, like Mr. Boxing today was saying, I think he could go up to 126, and we could see 126 pop off like it like it used to be when Prince Nassim Ahmed was back there, and we, we got big money fights at 126. You know, we could get big fights between Donaire, Gamboa, Lopez. But I'd like to see him finish business at 118 and not Mares out before he moves up. But he can skip 122, just, just hop up to 126. Okay, okay. All right, Carcino, we're going to end it with you. Did you think it was going to end that fast? And the second part of the question is, why was Max Kellerman trying to put Pacquiao against Nonito Donaire? Let's hear your opinion. Well, you knew Pacquiao's name was going to be mentioned in the teleclass. Uh, they use it to draw attention, to have people tweeting about it, to say, why was he mentioned that? Because it was a little controversy brought out early on about Pacquiao not allowing Filipinos to be on the card and all that. Just to take away all the attention from the great performance Donier shown in the ring. But Eric and, and, and Carcino, performance. and Carcino, not, yeah. to cut, not to cut you off, but let me throw this in there. And I'm sure all y'all guys noticed this. It seemed like everybody had something to say about Floyd Mayweather's inactivity and why he's not pound for pound right now. Oh, of course. You gotta mention Floyd Mayweather. You gotta mention Manny Pacquiao on the telecast. And you gotta, you gotta keep people in mind thinking Pacquiao Mayweather. It's no matter what the topic is, they can be talking about hamburgers and say, well, you know, if Manny Pacquiao will be this hamburger. <laughs> were, you shocked, were you shocked, were you shocked that they would talk about Manny Pacquiao after he made a jump to Showtime like that? It's not written in stone. Like HBO said, this is just a one fight deal. We don't know what's going to happen down the road. They haven't, they're not even washing their hands like they lost Manny Pacquiao. Okay. So they're all looking like it's just a one fight deal. We'll all see right. where it goes from there after the one fight. So they, they taking their chances like that, but HBO could make anybody like they made Manny Pacquiao. They could make Nonito Denier Manny Pacquiao. A couple more fights. You could be talking about him. He can do performances like this. They can move him up against the bigger names. He will be the next guy. I said it two years ago. He is better than Manny Pacquiao, technically and skill-wise. He's light years better than what Manny Pacquiao is right now. You did say uh, Eric said something, so I want to know what yes. you know, what Eric you made a great point, and it was right. Once, he, once Montiel got hit, it changed the whole fight. When he first got hit in that first round, it stopped him. And he was stuck. He would come in the inside and just freeze. He didn't even know what to do. He was so thinking defense, even when he was in close. He was thinking about getting hit. So his whole mentality and the whole fight changed once he got hit. He realized that Donnier was stronger than him. It was real strong and fast. He couldn't even set. So he was in trouble, and he knew it. And he was just dead in the water. He was just trying to survive, and he couldn't make it. He went in there hands down. <laughs> Head, head sticking forward like hit me. Oh God, he did. <laughs> right. Have you guys okay. seen the movie Enough? When when that guy slapped J Lo, and she's like, "Well, I can't hit you." No. Ah! Knocks her out. That's kind of what happened in this fight. <laughs> All right. 
All right, yeah, just, just All to right. add one more, just to add one more thing. On just that, uh, Calix, uh, people think that uh, Donaire has been experimenting with this switch in softball. He's actually been doing it since the amateurs. Uh, even today, Sean uploaded a video of uh, Valoria fighting uh, Donaire and the amateurs, and he was right. doing it then. Exactly. So he's, he's he's been switching southpaw and orthodox. I mean, the dude has a good fighting style, man. He came up in the same gym as Andre Ward, him and his brother did. So he has that whole slick, you know, moving around type of style down pat, man. He's not, you know, straight up and down. Too much well, he's, I mean, but he's up here conventional, down here southpaw. Yeah, oh yeah, because. When he's southpaw, he, he gives up his height. The first thing I see is he gives up his height. He'll crouch down. And I'm like, man, why is he doing that, man? But, I mean, he fights well southpaw, but he's better at when he's orthodox, though. So. Yeah, and oh, I'm going to read this knockout similar to Vic Darchinian's knockout. <laughs> man, wasn't it similar? Except for this time, uh, what's yeah. the name? Montiel got one punch off. <laughs> and, look, and, and, Mr. and Mr. Boxing today, the reason why when you switch like that to southpaw, and you find the fighters that they duck right. down and lower the equilibrium is because or they don't have good balance standing up, fighting on the outside. So they duck down because they're afraid of getting called off hard and knocked down. He knows his balance is not that right. great as a southpaw. So, so in other words, he shouldn't do it so much. And, and I, I, I guess weaker opposition, it's okay. <laughs> Joe and Eric is on the same point yeah. there. <laughs> All right, fellas, once again, I thank you for your comments on the Montiel Donaire fight. And Eric, take us out with that signature punch. Signature punch. <laughs> <laughs>